So guys, today we are taking a look at a drill to get the handle and the club head to go left through impact. So we've heard this lots of times about the club turning or exiting left with the body movement, okay? So this is something that some people really struggle with, okay? And what the club is talking about is when we're talking about exiting left, we're talking about the club being able to go around with the body turn here, not seeing the handle go here where the club heads past the hands and the handle's back looking away from the target. It's about that handle being allowed to turn with that body rotation. So if we were to set up to this ball here, what we'd be looking at is, as we've come down, we're going to this position and the club is moving around and everything is coming through together. So everything is coming through as a single unit, club's exited left, club face is nice and square and stable. Now, a great drill to be able to feel this would be to hold the club about halfway down the shaft, so between, halfway between the grip and the head, okay? Hold it down there. Now, this is a great drill because you can get a good feeling. You could build this into your pre-shot routine. So what we do, we take this to the top, get it into here, so see the club's just point slightly to right at the target, still at this point, meaning that the club is coming into out. Now as the weight moves into the left heel and opens up, the handle can smack into the body. Okay, as it smacks into the body, club face is then being squared. So as the handle goes around, the club head is going out to the ball. As it hits there, then I keep it on the hip as everything turns through and I stop when the hands finish on the heel line right there. That means that everything is moving through the ball in sync and together, okay? This is key, okay? It's teaching you how that handle to go around and how that club face can react. If you build that into your pre-shot routine, there's a great chance you've been able to execute that feeling when the ball is there. So therefore, you take hold of it, and the same idea again is there in that club then moves around. It's only once the club's past the, the hands past the heel line that the club head and pass the hands and truly release. Thanks for watching the video, guys. This is key to my beliefs. If you have a look at Ben Hogan, some of the great tour players out there right now, they all take the club left through impact. There's very few slinging that club down the line. This drill could be a fantastic one for you to start to apply to your game, maybe even include it in your pre-shot routine. Please comment below for any suggestions you'd like to see on future videos. Thanks for watching and talk with you again soon.